welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your weekly love and I'm going to give you guys a general a weekly love and general reading this week. It's going to go from January 15th to the 21st, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would so much appreciate that. I'm using the Vice Versa Amazing Deck, the Two of Swords. It's like making your decision. This is seeing the light, getting it, being able to make that. De the deck is just ama amazing. The Italian guy. Sorry, Italian guy. I don't know your name. I can't pronounce it. But brilliant. The deck is just amazing. Okay, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. So sorry. Um, just a little sneeze there. It's all good. Leo, sun, moon, and rising sign. That actually feels good. Just keep in mind, Leo, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you can look at your moon, your rising signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. The links to absolutely everything that you guys need are in the description box right below the video. And I'm doing it differently this week. I am uh, doing just the small... The Celtic cross spread, leaving, you know, the staff out of it. Right, your overall energy is the Four of Swords. You're definitely waiting, being patient. You know, others of you, you're just, um, you could be recovering from something. Maybe an illness, um... I mean, the other, the flip side of this, the mo one of the most amazing things about this deck is in a reading, you could read both sides. You know, things could be exploding all around you. Like things are happening just all over, all around you. And you're ignoring everybody. How beautiful. The star is actually underneath this. I was feeling a lot of healing energy for you guys to, anyway, but... uh I still feel that the same way because you're looking like, I mean, I guess if I put the cards over here, you would be looking right in at it all, but I put them here like I usually do. You're looking away from everything that's going on around you, as for some of you. So you definitely may, you know, have gone through some difficulties, definitely. This is definitely, you're definitely healing. A lot of you, both of these cards, I mean, what are the chances of both of these being right under each other, the star being under there? A lot of healing energy for those of you that are really needing it. You know, especially if you've gone through difficulties, you're definitely healing and recovering from that. You know, it's not bad overall energy at all. It's just some of you... You know, are spending time alone. You know, planning on going on vacation. I have no fire in my chart at all, but, you know, I mean, this is me a lot of time. You know, just, I'm alone a lot, you know, because I work alone. And I'm actually hoping to go on vacation to L.A. to see Ellen. I'm like super, super stoked over that. But, you know, sometimes you just want to be by yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is here too. Could be taking some time off from work even, going on vacation. It's cold on, in a lot of places. You know, going somewhere where the sun is shining and it's warm and beautiful. Just taking some time off. King of Cups is what we're starting off with. 
amazing in this deck. I hope the light does this card justice. Let me fix this lighting a little bit. There we go. Beautiful energy, right? Lots of emotion in this card with this person. Very emotional. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you are thinking about this person. This could be the person that's literally on your mind. You just can't get them out of your head. It could be the person that you're waiting on. You're, like, you're definitely waiting around with the Nine of Swords. You're in the mind. Whatever this situation is, eventually, that's finally, you know, getting out of that, seeing the light, getting out of your head. Eventually, a lot of you, that's what's going to happen. I think you're worried and, and you're anxious and there's anxiety because you don't want to wait. The King of Cups is, 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 is very much you know, in control of his emotions. You know, this, so this could be for some of you, you know, your energy, especially if there's water in your chart, but it doesn't, you know, it's a general reading, but, you know, being very, you know, very much in control of your emotions. You know, this person is emotional, but always appears very calm, cool, collective on the surface. So for some of you, you know, there could be something that's bothering you, but you're just simply playing it cool. You know, acting as if you don't know what's going on. But, but very loving, caring, generous person, compassionate, intuitive. And I really feel like with the Nine of Swords, you know, very much in the mind, dealing with anxiety, worry, losing sleep at night. Stop stressing so much, please. It really will be okay. With the Four of Swords here, I think you're 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 literally waiting on this amazing King of Cups, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Or this is you emotionally attached to something. It could have something to do with the relationship. You know, there is this feeling, I feel like, your heart is really, really in it. And, and, I, and, I, and I say that because there is just so much emotion in this card, in this deck. Like, your heart is in it, and you're waiting on this. And that's why for some of you, you're worried and dealing with anxiety. But listen, in this deck, you could read a reading both sides. So clarity is coming, my friends. Stop worrying, please. You guys are making me itchy. My back is like, guys, I really got to do something about this. I'm so sorry. One second. Ah. And I never edit anything. Oh, my goodness. That was just making me nuts. Oh, for the love, I'm so sorry. You guys are my last sign. I've been sitting here a long time. You know, and I don't want to feel rushed. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so. We're worried. We are worried. Because your heart really is in it. And I could just feel the emotion. I mean, I mean, it's a tidal wave of emotion, really. And you're worried about it. But clarity's coming. I promise. So, the Wheel of Fortune. So, the, at some point, there was some sort of change for many of you that took place. This could be something that... This could be something happening in your life that really was meant to be 
it was destined to happen. I think for some of you, this wheel turned. And for some of you, this really could be what matters of the heart. Uh, you know, I do try to be as ge as general as I could be, you know, because it is a general reading and I do want to, <coughs> sorry, you know, I do want to try to connect with as many of you as I possibly could. But I'm going to be honest, I really, really strongly feel like this is definitely related to relationships. Really. This Knight of Pentacles is looking right over at this King of Cups, Knight of Cups. You know, this, this wheel is finally turning in, in your favor. You know, for some of you, you know, it is possible. You know, it's like the Wheel of, of Fortune could be in reverse. You know, it really, this card is positive either way. In this deck on this side, you know, you're the magician, you're the one who's manifesting, you're doing it yourself. You need to make this happen yourself. You need to manifest it yourself. You know, this side, you know, destiny, karma, you know, maybe you have other people that are helping you. But it, but it's positive either way. When it's in reverse, it's things turning at a much slower pace. You know, the fact that this energy is even with you is very positive. It really is, is a blast of fortunate energy. And let me say this too, because I haven't mentioned it in a while. It is important to really watch your other signs, which, and I always have a birth chart linked below in the description box too, if you don't know what your moon, your rising is. This card's been out a few times. So has this in both positions. And so is the Six of Swords. You guys are my last sign. It gives you a bigger picture. Take what resonates, leap what doesn't. But this card has been out at least four or five times. Always in this position too. The King of Cups has been out on both sides. I really think for some of you, things are, are turning at a slower pace. Something definitely has begun. There's no doubt. The wheel has definitely started for turn. Has, I can't even talk for you guys. Has definitely started to turn for some of you. You know, when, and when it's destiny, karma, the universe, you don't even, spirit, you don't even know that it's happening. You know, it's just, the universe is doing this for you. You know, and then for, you know, for others of you, something definitely could have happened that was, you know, very much, you know, meant to happen. For some of you, you know, maybe a cycle ended, a new one has begun. You know, you literally went from, you know, being in, an, you know, an independent energy into... How do I want to say this? You know, you could have went from being married or in a, in a in a relationship, and now maybe to single in the recent past with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, it is very much an independent energy. It's a single energy. You know, on this side, you're moving into the light. You're moving on to the next. You know, you. This side, you know, you're very comfortable already. You know, you're living very comfortable. You have a very comfortable lifestyle. You're in a very good place. I feel like definitely those of you that, you know, were married, in a relationship, went to being single. You know, and, and, and are, you know, 
moving on. Being literally, and, and I'm saying, you know why I'm, 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 I'm using the other side of this card? Because the star card is here. And, I mean, you, have, you do have a lot of divine energy around you. I mean, and the star card is under this. It's spiritual, and it, and, and it is divinely guided. Like, you really are meant to take this path. I really do strongly feel that for a lot of you, Leo. I really do. You know, for some of you, you, you might not have literally broken up. You know, you could be just taking a break from each other for a while if you haven't completely broken up with somebody. But definitely you're taking a break from somebody. You know, some of you, so that's it. I mean, some of you could have become single. Some of you are taking a break. Mentally, you're ready to move forward. Definitely. You know, this is being ready. This is, you know, seeing the light, moving into the light, and, and physically actually doing it. Here, it's what you're thinking about. So you're almost ready. You know, you mentally moving toward peace of mind. And I do feel like it, I do feel like you know exactly what it is that you want. Because you're looking right at the, you're, you're, you're looking at this Knight of Cups. You're ready for it. And it's definitely what you're waiting on. You're definitely you know, moving from tur turbulent times to much more calmer, peaceful times, you know, harmony. You, know, you, you could have just went through some, you know, challenges, a relationship that was definitely a little rocky, difficulties. You know, for those of you that are coupled, I definitely see you healing that. You definitely could be healing your relationship with your partner. Definitely for some of you. And then for some others of you, you ended a relationship. And this is you newly single in the recent past. But I, but I honestly see someone new coming in. And it's someone that you know. And I think really, especially with the star card here, this is a wish come true for you. There, there is a lot of communication between the two of you as well with the Knight of Cups. And at 98, not even 99.9% .9 of the time, this is someone you know coming back you know, from your past. For others, it could be somebody new. You do have strong Scorpio Cancer Pisces here. Because I do think that this is the same person. But really, towards the weekend, beginning of next week, I think this water sign person is coming in with some sort of offer for you. Those of you that are not receiving an offer, this could be you making an offer as well to someone. It's still forward movement. You know, so mentally, you know, you're definitely ready to move forward. You know, the Knight of Cups... It's not as, you know, slow as shit like the Knight of, of, of Pentacles, but, you know, you're, 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 you got, you're making some steps, you know, you are definitely moving toward happiness. I honestly, I'm telling you, I think you're moving toward someone from your past. I'm going to be straight up. That's what I would say in a private reading. Definitely. Without a doubt. And you're moving toward your wishes. There's definitely for some of you that are single an offer of love coming in. From a water sign person. 
For some of you, you know, it could be a, it could be a younger water sign, and for others, it could be a, an older, you know, established thirty to fifty. You know, eighteen to thirty, give or take, but that's making you an offer. But I really do, with the star being under here, you know, you know, literally just moving right toward your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. It's beautiful. Let's look at your love lives. I love it. No matter how you spin it, it looks beautiful. No need to even clarify. Tarot of Sexual Magic. And also a romance angel card, Leo. That was a nice reading for some of you, really. Especially those of you that have been wishing and dreaming and hoping to be able to be single. It's happening. And have money. Oh, amazing. And living like this. I mean, does it get any better? Yeah. Moving on to the next. With having everything that you need and being... You know, look at the beautiful dove right there. I hope that, could you see that? These cards are amazing. It's just amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Leo, sun, moon, and rising sun. much talking. It's amazing. But I'm taking a lot of your advice and I'm going to do the tea thing. Okay, Leo. I thought I was going to sneeze again. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, everything under the sun is happening with you guys. Okay, I don't think I'm going to. Oh my God, seriously, the stars. Wow. I was in there, remember? Under the Four of Swords. I can't make that up. That's crazy. I, I mean, it does happen a lot, but wow. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, the Seven of Cups. Wow. And the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past is definitely coming back. You're, you've been thinking about this person. I'm convinced. This totally resonates with the general spread. That's the Four of Swords. For a lot of you, this water sign is on your mind. Let's see what else we get. The Empress. The Four of Cups. And there's your Four of Damn Swords again. Unbelievable. It is different in this deck, but that's crazy. Wow. Okay. Let me look at this. All right. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra. Okay. I mean, an Aquarius. Some of you are definitely, definitely dealing with an Aquarius. You know, the Seven of Cups is like, it, it's, you're in this, this fantasy land, dream world.
I just feel like some of you are trying to decide whether or not you want to keep your relationship going. You know, the Four of Cups is about, you know, should I let it go or not? You know, the Empress in this deck is all about you know, being open and vulnerable. You know, some of you are definitely being open and vulnerable to an Aquarius. You know, you're ready for love. If you're not with any anyone, it's it's like you want to be devoured and suffocated in love. You know, there are thoughts here of the past that was probably just sexual. Some of you are definitely dwelling on the past and I'm really seeing an overall picture is that some of you are, are just not living in the here and now. You want to be open and vulnerable to the future, but you're thinking about the past and the future, but not living in the here and now, in the moment. God, I hope I explained that good. It sounded good to me. That's what I'm getting. Let's clarify. Okay, we have Temperance and the King of Pentacles. Um, somebody are some of you are definitely waiting from someone someone from your past to come back. Others of you that are partnered are thinking about someone from the past. The King of Pentacles, an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn person. It's grounded, practical, down to earth. Balanced. I do feel like there's a lot of you wanting, like, how do I say that? I feel like here there's a lot of you were trying to control your thoughts or really like work your magic on somebody. We get you a romance angel. That's really what's coming through here. Um... I I honestly with the, your last with, with with your general this somebody from your past is definitely coming back and I just feel like there's going to be a whole lot of passion okay this card wants to come um Oh my God, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I. What else could I say? You can't make that shit up. Wow. Amazing. Libra. Or yeah, Libra. Leo. Um, if it did resonate, look at your moon, your rising signs. But... I think love is definitely coming your way for a lot of you. 
in your comments. Let me know how it turns out for you guys. Seems very exciting and passionate for you guys this week. All right, Leo, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I love you guys. I will see you back here shortly. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.